Hello fellow plot questers, today we got Medea by Euripides. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but that's the best I can do. And essentially, you, I, I'm, I'm sure many people has, have heard of the ancient Greek myth uh, of the story of Jason and Medea. Now, Jason is the hero that was the captain of the Argo and the one who captured the Golden Fleece from the country. And essentially, Medea is the person who betrayed you know, her entire family betrayed her father and let Jason take the Golden Fleece, got on board of the Argo, betrayed her brother by cutting him into tiny pieces, throwing him in the ocean so that his father would be forced to stop his assault fleet and try to collect all the bodies so he can have a proper burial. She like gave up everything. And now I'm not going to question the morality of Medea's actions because you know, I mean, she did terrible, terrible things. She killed her own family. But what must be admitted is that she did it all for Jason. She did it all for love. Uh, I'm not sure if that's, it, it's really toxic and obsessive, but you know, Medea, she did everything that she could for Jason. And Jason ditches her for a princess. And that's the beginning of the play. Now, obviously this is a, a edited version by the guy that wrote this. Although of course this guy is also a, a very old playwright, a Greek playwright. And, um, it's, it's like a version that he wrote to be dramatized. It's, it's interesting, and it, it kind of makes Medea the main POV character, and I really, really like that. Because when I was a kid and I read Medea, or well, Jason and Argo to that story, it portrayed Jason as this magnificent hero. A magnificent hero who ditches Medea, his legal wife, who he had two children with, for a princess. Like, I thought that Medea was the victim here, and this play captures absolutely that. So, the, the play kind of starts with Jason ditching Medea in order to make their two sons of royal blood, which is freaking ridiculous. Imagine, you're married with some whoever, I'm not sure which of your gender is, you're married with someone, and you have kids with them. And then they marry someone else because they want to make your kids royal blood. I would kill my partner. <laughs> If they told me that, this is exact, and, and I will be very, very angry. And Medea first is, um, and manages to manipulate the king so that uh, so, so she can postpone her exile. So she won't be exiled immediately. She, they give him, he gives him one day. And Medea gets revenge on Jason. So she gives Medea's wife, the bride, um, a crown that sets her on fire a cloth or a gown, I'm not completely sure what it is, that digs into her skin and, and like cuts her. And pff, cut, she's dead, the princess is dead, the king tries to hug the princess, the cloth hugs him back, and he's cut, he dies also. And she wipes out the entire royal family. And then she kills her own two sons as revenge on Jason and rides away on a chariot driven by Helios' dragons because Medea is famously the granddaughter of Helios, the sun god. And um, a couple things. There's kind of a feminism element where Medea is getting support from all the different oppressed wives and old women and kind of middle-aged women, women from the city where she gets kind of garners their support. And... And, you know, I, I thought that was an interesting element because, you know, that's a really fresh take on what essentially Jason's story with Medea was, which was essentially kind of going like, oh, you know, Jason was going to get happiness by ditching his previous wife and marrying a princess. He could have become a king, but Medea, ew, she messed things up for her. Like, bro, <laughs> I always thought Medea was a victim and I really thought that portrayed her really well. And I felt like everything that Amidia did was very, very justified. I know she did something terribly immoral. She killed her own sons. But I felt like, I'm going to be honest, I, my dark side kind of came out when I was reading that part where I was going like, yeah, go girl, like get that revenge. Because I was just freaking mad at Jason the entire time. I felt so bad for Medea and what she had to deal with because it almost felt like I was reading a, um, a webtoon. Uh, there's this genre in Webtoon where essentially like an obsessive partner can do anything for you. And it's meant to be kind of like satisfying for people who are losers and don't have a love, love loving partner like uh, me. <laughs> and those Webtoons usually have this almighty super powerful one person that takes care of everything for you. Whether that person is a girl or a guy depends on the Webtoon. And it almost felt like that except, except instead of 
instead of the girl does everything for the guy and they fall in love, the girl did everything for the guy and the guy betrays her. And in that in that way, I kind of almost felt like, you know, Mede absolutely did what she really needed to do. One thing that I found interesting was her feminist speech. Like I just mentioned, she gives kind of like this feminist, like, you know, the, the men, the husbands have oppressed us women. They think us as trophies, but we are not. Like, you know, it was a pretty inspiring speech. And I, I thought, you know, is she being genuine or is she just being manipulative? Because if we remember literally at the start of the play, uh, the king, right? She, she manipulates the good-hearted king so that she could, st she could stay in the kingdom. I kind of feel bad for the king and the princess, but not a lot considering, you know, Jason. Jason. But, um... Medea like manipulates him and so we know that or she's we already know that she's as a character good at manipulating people so I was just wondering when she made that speech like is she just trying to manipulate the crowd by trying to find a common point because we know that she was a mad in love for Jason like she didn't give a crap of how Jason treated her as long as Jason stayed hers I guess is the best way to put it and and in in the actual story, you know that didn't happen, and now she's getting revenge. So I was wondering, does she actually believe herself when she's talking about these feminine things, or did she just say it out of rage, or was it perhaps you know genuine, genuine, or was it just a strategy to manipulate the crowd? I thought that was just some food for thought when I actually read that part. And again, I completely support Medea's character. I got like super into the story. Because I'm like one thing, so, some things that I really, really hate, especially, are stories where you know, um, one person's really in love with the other person, and that other person just betrays them. Like I'm fine with the other person rejecting them, you know, that's just life. But the person that is loved by obsessively loved, even just like says he or she loves them back, and then freaking backstabs them, and no less after they got married and had two kids. Like, in what world? I, I really fell for Medea, if you couldn't tell by my passionate voice. And I, I honestly thought it was enjoyable. I felt like I was reading a revenge webtoon. That's how I felt. Like, I was ripping through the pages like, Oh my god, Medea, go girl. Like, beat the crap out of Jason's mentality until he goes insane. And I was more satisfied because I knew how Jason died. He gets hit by the elm of the dead Argo, and which is the, the ship, the ship that he cruised on and his brain and his head kind of gets bashed in if I remember correctly and I thought that was a really satisfying ending although that doesn't really show up in the play which is a shame but again I thought the play was excellent I thought it was really fun I of course it's because the original story is fun but you know it's a really interesting twist on that myth really really liked it really really liked how Medea acted and in general I just loved it it, it was great and I, if this is actually, you know, performed, I would actually go watch it. That's how good it was. Although I might fall asleep. I'm not sure how fast paced the play was. But again, I ripped through this. It's so satisfying. The revenge is so, so, so incredibly satisfying. Would highly recommend this one. Although you might want to read the original Jason and Medea story for reference. Just, just a suggestion. And yeah, like always, your plot quester, Aaron the plot quester. Classical revenge story, one of the oldest revenge stories of all time, and it's awesome. Have a great day. Okay.